Good day, viewers. You are home to mathematics with Dr. Oji. In this video, we shall discuss multiple and sub-multiple Kango formula. Please don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will be duly notified. Thank you. Now we recall, we recall sine A plus B is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Now if we replace, let's call this our equation I. If we replace, replace uh, B with A, that is if A is equal to B in I, we obtain, what do we obtain? We obtain what? Now I obtain what? Sine, you know, A cos A plus cos A sine A. What do you call the word? Sine A plus A. That we have here. That is to say that now sine 2A is equal to sin A cos A plus cos A sin A. That's what? 2 sin A cos A. So you can call this one equation high high. Okay? Now, uh, similarly, 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 we recall, we call that uh, cos A plus B, you know, is the same thing as what? The same thing as uh, cos a cos B minus sine A sine B. You can call this one equation what? Equation high, high, high. Okay? Now, which implies by the time we do that substitution, uh, replacing, replacing B with A, with A. In equation I I I that's equation three gives what does it give? It gives what cos a plus a is equal to cos a cos a minus sine a sine a, which is cos two a is equal to cos square a minus sine square a. Okay, we can call this one equation four. All right, now we are trying to form simplified version of uh, multiple and sub multiple angle. Okay, now we recall, we can also recall, recall, recall that, recall that. Sine square A plus cos square A is equal to 1. I hope we can recall that. So, from here we can have sine square A. If it is made in something formula, it will be 1 minus cos square A. So, let's call that one equation 5. Okay. Now, put 5 into 4. You can put 5 into 4. It gives, you know, Let's put 5 now into equation 4. If we give what? Cos 2a is equal to now cos square a minus sine square a is what? 1 minus cos square a. So that will give us what? Cos square a minus 1 then plus cos square a. So that is cos 2a is equal to cos square a plus cos square a. That's 2 cos square a the minus 1. So we can call this one equation what? 6. Equation 6. So the same thing can happen if we make cos square a the subject of formula. Though the result will be different. We have a similar result. Now, from this uh, sine square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. If we make cos square a into the formula, 
note cos square a is equal to 1 minus sine square a. You know that? Yes. So, if that is the case, by now putting, uh, you know, this, let's, let's call this one equation 7. All right. Let's call it equation 7 because we have had six uh, equations so far. Equation 7. Now, let's insert it into, um, into equation 4. You know, originally equation 4 was cos uh, 2a is equal to cos square a minus sine square a. Okay? So, that is now putting, putting 7 into 4. Let's put 7 into 4. We obtain or we get. By the time we put 7 into 4, you know we have four windows. Four cos 2a is equal to cos square a minus sine square h. So now putting seven, where we see cos square a, we put uh, one minus sine square a there. So we have what? Cos 2a, you know, is equal to cos. This is now what? This is now one minus sine square a, the minus sine square a. So cos 2a now equals to 1 minus sine square a minus sine square a. That is what? Minus 2 sine square a. So we can call this one a formula or equation 8. Okay? Now, with this, we have obtained various, uh, you know, uh, formula that could be used when we're talking about multiple uh, angles formula. Now, let's look at the version of tan, you know, uh, of that particular multiple uh, angle formula. Now, we recall that, recall, recall, recall also that tan A plus B in our earlier result is also tan A plus tan B, you know, I hope you can still remember, all over 1 minus uh, than a down b. I hope you can remember that. Good. Now, by the time we replace b with a, now let's put b is equal to a gives, so when you put uh, b is equal to a, it gives what? Tan, you know, a plus a, that's tan 2a is equal to uh, tan a plus tan a, you know, all over 1 minus tan a tan k. So this will be what? Tan 2k now will be equal to 2 tan a all over 1 minus tan square a. So let's call this one equation 9. Okay? Let's call that equation 9. Alright. So now uh, that is uh, uh, that's about the tan version of uh, of uh, multiple angle. Okay, now let's look at the submultiple angle in this respect. Submultiple angle. Since sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. We know that. Okay, since sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. Now, replacing replacing a by you know half uh, of x replacing a by half of x that is half x gives what so now we want to look at the the version of uh, sub multiple angle by the time we replace a in the in the in the one we have just uh, gotten we replace uh, b with a so as to get multiple that is what multiple means when you, it is being multiplied when it expands more than the usual version. Now, this time around, now, one or two, we now want to look at if we can have the subdivision of the multiple version we have obtained. What, what would it look like? So, now, since two, sine 2a two is equal to 2 sine a cos a, now, if we replace a here by half x, what do we have? So, that would be what? Sine 2 multiplied by half x, because that is what, what we have just seen. And we, 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 we have just said, that's what we are saying. Replace uh, a by half x. So that will be what? 2 sine 
a is what half x cos half x so this will be what sine x is equal to 2 sine half x cos half x so we can call this one equation 10 okay now let's look at this what happens to cosine as well okay now for cos 2a cos 2a you should be noted that um, let's write it here let's write it here for cos 2a for cos 2a since since cos 2a is equal to cos square a minus sine square a okay it's going to be expanded more than that for what we did some time ago so now replacing 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 a by half x gives okay gives cos 2 multiplied by half x which is equal to cos square half x minus sine square half x so which is what cos x is equal to cos square half x minus sine square half x so we can call this one equation 11 okay now which invariably by the time we you know do some adjustment we can have other versions of uh, of this but that is what i'm saying here is uh, if you know you can change the form of this you know notes 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 sine square half x plus cos square half x is equal to one so by the time we now want to get uh, either sine square half x as the subject of the formula or cos square half x as the subject of the formula you see what's going to happen here so uh, sine square half x will be what one minus cos square half x so now you put this into this okay whenever you see sine square half x you put one minus therefore therefore cos you know x will be now cos square half x the minus one minus cos square half x okay so cos x will be cos square half x minus one the minus plus minus is plus cos square half x so cos x will be no two cos square half x minus one so this is another version of uh, cos x so if you make cos square half x the solid formula from here as well you get another version of uh, uh, so what how do you, how, what is the version how do how do you get the sub multiple version of tan you know tan uh, x or tan two x you know that since tan two x is equal to two tan x all over all right one minus tan square x then then putting you know putting uh, um, uh, in this case now okay let's okay sorry uh, yes this is uh, this thing this is this but uh, suppose we we say that um, we try want to have uh, let's just remove it from sine 2a is equals to this okay now just like we have in our in our previous cases so then putting uh, a is equals to have uh, x okay then we have okay then it's not needed there again then putting a equals to half gives okay gives what tan 2 multiplied by you know half x is equals to 2 tan half x all over 1 minus tan square half x okay so this will be what tan x is equals to 2 tan half x all over 1 minus tan square half x so this could be another a version of uh, uh, let's call it uh, the last equation was 11 so we can call this one 12 okay now um if we now replace um this so-called have x and i'll try to you know consider the you know version is another simplified version by replacing than uh, have it okay now let's see 
now we shall obtain we want to obtain sine x we want to obtain sine x cos x and tan x you know in terms of uh, in terms of uh, in terms of in terms of what in terms of uh, tan half x okay in terms of tan half x uh, we want to obtain that we want to obtain sin x cos x and tan x in terms of uh, okay now in this case putting putting tan half x is equal to t all right so let's put tan half x equal to t in the last equation in the equation 12. So what we want to do here is, uh, we, you know, we are able to we, are, we were able to obtain tan half x from our equation twelve. Now we want to see if we can, you know, generate another equation where sine x cos x and tan x can be obtained from that uh, version of tan half x. But in this case, we now say, okay, suppose t represents uh, tan half x now. Okay, in twelve, how do you go? How does the, that that uh, go? So that is wherever we see, you know, wherever we see what? Whatever we see uh tan half x we put a t. Therefore, therefore equation 12 becomes tan x will now be what? 2t because tan half x is being replaced by t all over 1 minus uh tan, you know, tan square half x, and we have tan half x is equal to t. So that will have what? That's uh 1 minus uh t square okay because tan half x is equal to t so tan square half x will be equal to uh, t square so this is another version of uh, sub multiple angle now let's look at how we can get the version of uh, sin x from there okay let's look at how we can get a version of uh, sin x from there okay now you notice our sin x what do we obtain for our sin x now just concluded um, um, you know the values um sin x is equals to two sine half x cos half x okay note we know that from uh, what we have earlier obtained we have sin x equals to two sine half x cos half x so in this case now we want to get sin x you know in such a way that um t called future how does that happen so and for us to do, note recall recall that cos square half x plus sine square half x is equals to one we should recall that therefore sine x now you know could be two sine half x cos square half x all over cos square half x plus sine square half x why and how uh what we are trying to do here is we actually want to have an expression that will contain tan half x such that we'll be able to replace that tan half x uh by t that's what we are trying to do and you know sine x is the same thing as two sine half x cos half x all over one and so instead of writing one we could equally write cos square half x plus sine square half x okay that's what we are just done here now let's see divide dividing the numerator and denominator denominator by cos square half x now we want to divide the numerator of that expression and the denominator by cos square of uh, x let's look at what it's going to give us okay that implies sine x will now be 2 sine half x cos half x all over cos square half x all over. That's the statement. Cos square half x all over cos square half x plus sine square half x all over cos square half x. Okay, so now this one we cancel only one from here so it will be left it to uh, cos average because we have square of it here okay now this one will be one 
and this one will be tan square half x. So we now have sine x will be 2 sine half x all over that. You know, sine half x all over cos half x. That's what tan half x all over. I hope you understand. Okay, because sine x over cos x is tan x. Sine half x over cos half x will be tan half x. Then this one is 1, then plus. Now, sine square half x all over cos square half x. That is what? Tan square half x. So, now, replacing tan half x by t now. So, now, say, replacing. Replacing tan half x by t gives. So, by the time we replace tan half x by t, uh, this is what sine t sine x equals to 2t all over 1 plus t squared. Okay, 2t all over 1 plus t squared. So, the next is now to go for uh, cos uh, x. Okay, let's look at how we get uh, cos x. Now, for cos x, for cos x, now say recall, recall. For cos x, recall, recall cos x is equal to cos square half x minus sine square half x. Okay, that is our cos x. So we can equally use the same thing, which is which is equivalent to cos x is equal to cos square half x minus sine square half x all over cos square uh, half x plus uh, sine square half x. You will ask me, how? How come? How come we are using this now? You know, cos x over 1 is cos x. And since cos x is equal to cos square half x minus sine square half x, so it could equally be the same thing as cos square half x minus sine square half x all over 1. And with this cos square half x plus sine square half x is already 1. So instead of writing 1 as the denominator here, you could write cos square half x plus sine square half x. So, now, dividing the numerator and uh, denominator by what? Cos square half x gives, well, let's look at that now. Gives what? Cos x is equal to cos square half x all over cos square half x minus sine square half x all over cos square half x all over cos square half x, all over cos square half x, you know, plus sine square half x, all over cos square half x. How we understand? Yes, just the same, uh, this is a similar process to how we obtain sine x. Okay, so here we're going to have, so here we're going to have. Uh, Cos x now equals to everything here is 1 minus sine half sine square half x over cos square is what? Um, square half x all over. Then this constant this is 1 plus sine square half x over cos square is what? Um, square half x. Now replacing, you know, replacing tan uh, half x uh, by t gives. I think that is what cos x is equal to what? 1 minus t squared all over 1 plus uh, t squared. So we're going to stop here for now. Uh, we shall continue from here in our next video. So don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video. Thanks and God bless you.